Salam, Namaste, Bonjour, Hello, Welcome to Le Zamharic Tutoring's YouTube channel. I'm Blaine, the founder and the tutor of Le Zamharic Tutoring. I know it has been a while since we have done our last uh, word challenge. So here I am to test your Amharic once again. Um, so before we start, of course, how do we start our word games? I say, and you all say what? So the word for today begins with the letter K in Amharic alphabet and it signifies the current season of Ethiopia. So I don't know how many of you are aware of uh, the seasons of Ethiopia and this particular season, the current season is the most visually distinctive season actually. So if you know the current season, it actually starts with the letter K in Amharic, so with the letter K in the English alphabet. So let's see how many of you will get it right. I'll give you a moment to guess. Yeah. So let's see how many of you got it right. The current season of Ethiopia and the word of today is cramped. So let's see how many of you got it right. Cramped is the word. So cramped is a season of rain, like, you know, so it's characterized by uh, heavy rainfall, cloudy sky, and uh, cold weather, like, you know, so often to protect ourselves from this cold weather, we often like to wear our nicely weaved, you know, cotton uh, fabrics. In Ethiopia, there are different kinds of cotton fabrics. This particular one, we call it gabi. So it's like the best thing to wear uh, during this uh, cold season. Um, and there are many other things that we like to do uh, during this season, which I'll keep you posted in the upcoming, uh, you know, uh, word challenge. So Ethiopia has actually four seasons, but when it comes to the other three, they are not easily distinguishable to the common man. They are rather agriculturally relevant because there is something specific to do in each season when it comes to agriculture. But this last season, actually this season, cramped, is the last season of the Ethiopian calendar year. This one, everybody can tell, of course, because of the rain, the heavy rainfall, the cloud, you can really feel it, the cold weather, you can really sense, okay, oh yeah, it's cramped right now. And another thing I find to be very fascinating is that, uh, actually this uh, cramped season, uh, in the Ethiopian calendar, it lasts from the months of sunny, uh, till Pagme, so Pagme is the last month of the uh, the Ethiopian calendar year. Uh, so this will be in a Gregorian calendar. It will be from somewhere in mid June till like early September. Uh, so uh, what's interesting is that like this time of the year, actually June to September, normally it is the, for most parts of the world. This is the time they have like the warmest, the most pleasant weather. Whereas here it's quite the opposite. This is actually in the Ethiopian year. This is where it gets the coldest, the cloudiest, uh, you know, uh, the, the, uh, the most rainy and the, the least uh, pleasant, you know, to move out and about. So I find that. So if you are planning to visit Ethiopia and you are trying to decide which months shall I visit Ethiopia and you actually enjoy a sunny, pleasant weather and that allows you to easily walk around and see different spots. Probably June to September is not the best time, but uh, starting from September, the weather clears up and especially during uh, like November, December, January, like that's like the, uh, the driest, the sunniest, the warmest weather. So whenever the weather is gonna be like winter and cold, um, in the west this is it's going to be the most pleasant weather the driest weather over here which is always easy to walk around easy to go to places and uh, you know um, do walking tours uh, so that would be something to consider when you are planning your trip over here and I'll keep you posted in upcoming posts about more interesting facts and uh, about Ethiopia if you have any questions of course drop me a message I do have an account with the same name Lazam Harik Tutoring on Facebook, Instagram, here on YouTube, and I also have a Telegram channel. So you can stay updated about uh, different word challenges like this one. Uh, we, we also have events, online events from time to time. And if you are also interested to attend uh, Amharic lessons, I do give individual Amharic Tutoring online. So feel free to reach out, feel free to drop me a message. If you have also any questions, of course, feel free to forward them to me. Please stay active and participate in the weekly challenge. And I look forward to see you on the next one. Till then, 
አመሰግናለሁ ቴንክ ዩ ደናዋሉ ሃቭ አ ናይስ ዴይ ቦንጁርኒ ቻው ቴንክ ዩ